welcome back to another video of Supermarket Simulator. Anyway, let's play. Dude. This guy is running around for so long, it's crazy. <laughs> Look at this racks, bro. Like, I don't know what's happening here. But we have buying, apparently. Well, it's not 100% yet, but... We have buying stock uh, automated. So everything should be filled up now, because he's just standing. Yep, everything is fully uh, fully stocked, that's for sure. The shop is open. And we're ready for our first clients. We just got our first one. So yeah, for you guys who don't know, um, I'm just going to say this again. I made a new YouTube channel just to make a, a part one for this game to see if it's actually going to get views and it got nothing. So I backed up my saves, but for some reason my save is just not loading and I don't know what to do, man. Honestly, I don't know what to say. So right now we're just going to restart the whole game and this is going to be my final restart ever. Like this is the last one. If for some reason... You have to restart again, then I'm just uh I'm just out of here, you know what I'm saying? So right now we just gotta save up for the next product license. Hopefully. Because that is a problem. For some reason we're really struggling with money uh in this playthrough. Our revenue is not as high as it was. Uh, in the previous playthrough. But it's okay. We'll make it work. Regardless. We got our cashiers here. Level 9 and level 24. Salt is too expensive for me. It is quite expensive, I do agree. I fixed the price if we're gonna go check again. But I guess that ain't gonna happen. I think it's her that said that the salt is too expensive. Yeah. She did buy the whole shop though, so... I'm surprised they, they she cares about 10 cents on salt. Her driving to a different store to buy salt, that's gonna cost you more than 10 cents worth of fuel. So... Whatever, I guess. Providing you guys with the best prices I can, okay? Because I still need to pay my ninja workers for working this fast. For your convenience, obviously. And mine. Because the whole thing is, like, the whole chain at the moment is just automated. Everything. So all I'm doing is, uh, I, I'm sitting waiting for money so I can actually upgrade the store. It's pretty much what it comes down to. But 
But yeah, we're not gonna upgrade um, our workers anymore. We're just gonna chill where we are. Until it's like necessary. You can see even the restocker is like, he's up on par, you know, with his job. I'm actually considering firing the other worker for now. If we have a queue again, then we can always bring him back. But I think uh, at end game, uh, two cashiers leveled up, obviously leveled up is the key point. Uh, will be will be needed for sure. So we might as well level up these guys right now. Let them farm XP. As long as there's no boxes outside, my job is done. Yeah, we, we will need eventually another Racker Boy. I don't know if one is going to be, you know, be able to carry the weight of a whole store. I don't think it's possible. Oh, she loves her tea, bro. Came into the store just to buy three teas. That's crazy. Crazy lady right there. You know it's past 9pm. How can you just walk in here? Ah. Another one. Yeah, we are thankful for these lingers. Because... It's thanks to them we're going to make a profit. Dude, our Racker Boy is running so fast now. He's for sure doing a better job than we ever could. You know, being able to carry five boxes at a time. And that movement speed is already, like, insane also. Alrighty then. And that is this day done. Let's hop into the next one. Fun products expensive? Well, I mean, what can I do, bro? Let's open up immediately. And let's just fix the price again. Because it is quite high, you know. It is definitely up there. Where's our record boy? There he is. So I didn't see boxes for like 10 seconds, so. Threw away two boxes. I'm gonna keep my eye on him, just see what he does. We 
Well, he's doing a pretty sick job, dude. I freaking love this mod. I'm telling you now, if it wasn't for this leveling up mod, I most probably would have quit the game. I'm just so interested in this. I, I just think it's so cool that you can make mods like this. And I'm I, I, like, I'm hoping that the developer would eventually, you know, buy it off this modder. I think it's such an insane idea. Come on, people. Make me money. We are broke for some reason. I need to become a rich bitch. And it's for your convenience, okay? Do you want me to have more products on the shelves? Huh? It's for your convenience. Goodness, she bought a lot. Holy... I want to test his movement speed. Okay, we are still, like, it, it's not running for us yet. But us just pressing W without, you know, left shift. We are still moving faster than him. So it's not our movement speed yet. And it looks so fast, dude. Why am I not rich yet, huh? What's happening here? We're level 23. I don't think levels matter anymore. Level 22 is where we get our next record boy, but we don't care about them uh, yet. I think later it will matter, but, you know, right now it doesn't, so. Next product license. Dude, it's so weird that we can buy any product license we want. I thought it has to be in sequence, but I guess they removed it. Now it's just level based, so you can choose any product you want. 750 bleach. Cleaner, dishwasher, tablet, hand soap, shampoo, and toilet paper. So for us to get that, we need to get another rack for sure. We need to get like one... Yeah, one, two... Is it just three? Three racks? I mean, shampoo can be separate, so... So shampoo can be here, for example. Because shampoo is small. Bleach is big. Cleaner is big. No, cleaner is also small. It's the spray, the bottle spray. So dishwasher tablet. Oh, hand soap is small. Okay, if anything. So we only need two racks then. Because we can use like hand soap here. Um... Shampoo, so sh shampoo here, 
hand soap here. Uh, toilet paper needs a big rack, though. So, toilet paper... Uh, bleach, toilet paper. Yeah, cleaner is also not that big, I think. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll buy it soon, though. I don't want to be too close to, like, you know, the dollar amount. So I want at least, like, I don't know, $2,750. That will give us $2,000 uh, to buy stock and the shelves. And seven fifty is for the product license. So we'll most probably will have to do another full day. I think. Okay, so his level is, is maxed out. He's gonna stay on the speed until I increase his wage. And I think his speed is fine for now. Like, we'll upgrade once we need to, not because we want to. So at the moment, we're paying like close to $300 a day uh, for all our workers. That's a lot of money, dude. Still have two clients. Dude, how much faster this one is compared to the other one. It's crazy. Out of this world difference. Okay, end the day there. Start the next one and just instantly open because I'm a boss. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we need to fix that price again. It's perfect. 260. I mean, we're never going to work with money in this game. So, like, running it to the 75 or 25 increments, I think, is wrong. We should maybe increment to the 10th. And always round it up. And then all these small products will not be overpriced at all. I'm pretty sure we can get two shells in here for the next bar license. My other problem would be, you know, the racking. I don't think we have enough racks to sustain this product license. It's very big objects, like the bleach and the toilet paper. They will take a lot of space. The hand soap and uh, the other one, yeah, they'll, they'll be fine. But these ones, not so much. Toilet paper is huge. I think one toilet paper has four toilet papers in it. One box. Has four toilet papers. Everyone wants to be with a faster cashier. <laughs> Why do hake?
Everyone's like craving flour today. Like what's happening here? Okay, 600, well, 750 more dollars to go. I, I'm honestly hoping at the end of, the, of this day we'll be able to actually get it. It's a pretty nice product license because, you know, like the cleaner stuff is actually selling pretty nice. People buy a lot of it, especially toilet paper. They think it's 2020, dude. You know, toilet paper is so huge, and some people take three of them at a time, which is kind of ridiculous. I think also this guy is done. I think level 24 is the final one. And then we have to increase his wage as well. Dude, our stock taker is also level 24. Man, he caught up so fast. That's crazy. And I, I think it's because he's solo, right? Like if you had another stock taker... Or if he didn't have another cashier, then this guy would be so much higher level. Maybe two levels higher if we decided to pay for his upgrade. But like I said before, it's better for us to farm. Because I think later uh, you'll have to get a second cashier anyway. And it would be fine if he's like level 9 already. I mean, we could fire him right now, since we're not going to use him. And at least when we hire him back, he's going to be level 9 already. You know, we could also do that. The six pack mocks, huh? Dude, I can't believe like how full the shell still is, man. We have one one leveled restocker. Level 24. Like the next upgrade is just gonna be so big, bro. I honestly don't think we need another restocker for a while. This guy is managing just fine. People still walking in. Just bought two products, but... Someone else... Dude, it's nine... Nine, my brie. People still walking in. They need some milk. Oh my goodness, another one? Or you can be glad you're a sexy girl because, you know, you know what I'm saying.
She's still buying? She's not done yet. Goodness. Alrighty then, that is that day. Total profit, 382. Doesn't seem that high. Starting the next day and you can see we are not on $2,700. So, we can't buy the product license until then. We'll open. Let's open up shop, baby. Let's get down, let's get down to business. Whoa, did you just walk around the whole place? <laughs> Are you sure you're carrying enough boxes there, my buddy? Goodness. Yo, stop buying stuff. I'm broke, okay. Okay. I don't think this guy is going to go to level 25. Let's just have a look here. I think we're fine, dude. We're fine as is. Kind of wishing we're making more profit, but, you know. I think we're going at a good pace. The problem is that, you know, we restarted the game. <laughs> I don't know if I'm laughing or crying, dude. Somewhere in between the, that laugh is a cry, I swear. It's okay, though. I uh, will make this work. Is it potatoes in the next, uh, in the next one? Oh, no, no, it's toilet paper, right? Yeah, toilet paper cleaning uh, cleaning stuff. Yep. Let's have a look at the stock here. Everything is looking good. I mean, until it's not. I don't know when it's not going to look good. Bro, he's 100 away. From level 25, but he's not going to reach level 25, I think. Maybe. We'll see. I'll have to wait and see. No one better be stealing, dude. I'll be the CCTV, okay, for the next update. <laughs> dude, he's doing it so fast, bro. I'm considering closing checkout here and firing this guy. Because I have this hunch we only need two employees. But I mean, we're paying $80 a day extra, I mean, for the extra hand farming experience as well. It's not that bad, actually. 
But yeah, this after this day, we'll definitely uh, get the next product license. Do 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 do. Really? You want your cheese, bro. Triple cheese. There we go. He's supposed to be 25. We should have enough racks, right? Not entirely, but we'll make it work. Mm. We'll have to order another rack. For sure. Don't have to place it yet. But soon. Soon. But I can't believe this is all being done by one restocker. <laughs> it was so bad at the start, but look at him now, bro. See, this is this is when you should be glad you didn't help him much. I think since we hired him, we ran to the shelves once to put something on it. And that was to just change the position of the milk, mainly. So now you can actually see the difference between paying $100 a day versus paying $20, uh, $80 a day. The speed difference is just infinite. Okay, I think that's everyone. Up into the next day here. Products found expensive was one. Uh, oh, I almost opened. Uh, let's get the next product license. Uh, manage management. I think it should be, yeah, it should be too. So, bleach. You son of a bleach. No, don't be in my way, bro. Okay, so hand sanitizer. So that's hand sanitizer, shampoo.
Or let Peppa. Some uh, eye spray. Some uh, chocolate mints. You see, Mr. Glitchy, that's why don't we, we're using that other one. So we got some bleach. And... Where did I put my chocolate mints, dude? Here we go. Okay, we got two open slots still. Okay, we can open up shop. Something like this. There's something, something like this. <laughs> okay, we have four hundred dollars still in the bank, meaning that we pretty much perfectly calculated it. Let's be honest here. Also weird that there's a gap here, and I don't know how to close it. Kind of annoying. Dude, we're gonna fit so many racks in here now. And it's mainly because we don't care how it looks like inside the storage, as long as it's functional. Functionable. Taxi! I think my first time seeing the taxi in this game. Very good, very good. As long as we find no boxes outside, we're good to eat. Hey, one more product license down. About 15 more to go-ish, I think, roughly, if not more. If we install mods, there's way more. There's some dog and cat food mods that people added. There's uh, games also, 
More product licenses. So many stuff, dude. Still no boxes outside, which means so far so good. So yeah, the, the cool thing about this update is that you could just buy more than 10 things. I feel like that's cool. Um, the boxes being, like, packed neatly. I, it's a decent update. It's just, I don't see it worthy, right? Woo, we got something outside, dude. Nice. Job's done. Girl, you shit for the A-team? Goodness, it's a lot of toilet paper. Someone as cute as you, that should never take a poopy. You know what I'm saying? When you fart, it smells like flowers. <laughs> nah, dude. I think a fart smells like creatine. Like rotten eggs. Oh, my goodness. Is Biden doing his own shopping? Wow. I never knew it. You can do it. This restocker is dude like He's just a god, bro. That's what it looks like if someone enjoys their job. Right there. The restocker is a good example. I'm also considering upgrading this guy so that he can actually try and catch up with Mr. Level 24. There's $20 difference. Oh, it's 9 p.m. Uh, 
Okay, we'll get an end of day here. How much is the wage? 140. So it goes from 100 to 140. And I'm honestly considering just getting rid of the second cashier for now. One cashier, one restocker, I think will be a will be good enough for like a very, very big portion of the game. Forty dollars a day more. It has to be worth it, right? If you upgrade both, it's sixty dollars a day more, which is still not bad, actually. But if you think about it, it's like an extra cashier, <laughs> almost, since they're eighty dollars a day. I mainly want to just upgrade this restocker. We need to get this guy to be soloing the whole store, dude. Mighty girl, you are short. Is it you with the sexy eyes? Yeah, it's her again. Her eyes are so blue. Can barely see it. She's very cute. Hey, you better not walk out, girl. I got my eye on you. How much is she buying, bro? She's still walking around, goodness. And she's going to slowy. Let's close this checkout. Let's see if this guy can handle it all by himself. And also let's have a look at the upgrade. Didn't really talk much about the upgrade. 
other than the wage goes up by forty dollars. But did I honestly think one cashier leveled, right? One cashier leveled should be enough. So we'll check if there's a queue. And if there is, we can just regulate it as well. Yo, she's back. Hey, girl. Her blue eyes doesn't make sense, dude. She doesn't look white. So how do you have blue eyes if you're not white? Contact lenses, potentially? She bought shampoo poo 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 shampoo pee We'll try one more day. If there's no queue, we're gonna fire this guy. Then we have more space to build another rack. Or maybe more space for another product license. Don't worry, if we're hiring him again, he's gonna still be level 9. 9, my buddy. But we're paying this guy eighty dollars a day, where this guy's raise is forty. Already a hundred dollars, so he's going to be paid a hundred and forty dollars, which is almost two separate cashiers. That is just his increase. Now the queue is decently long. You know what? I think people just have to deal with it, dude. Like, he's gonna just get better and faster and stronger. You know what I'm saying? Maybe people just don't see it like that. I don't know. Yeah, let's uh, fire this guy. We're not going to sell it at the moment, but... Okay, we unfortunately still need money, so we'll just open up for the day. And I think we're going to level up them also. Uh, this stock taker can also level up soon, like really soon. And we are for sure pumping those levels into him. Why is our coffee this low again, bro? 
Now, my bro, why is it not buying? How much of stock do I have on this? On that crack? Hey girl, don't ignore me. Just accept me. Eventually you will have to. Hey. Why are you gay? Just give me your number. The the computer says I have zero stock of you. Come on. Let me let me get some stock, you know what I'm saying? I, I know you need eggs, and I can give it to you. Fine. Next time, girl. Next time. Maybe not in my lifetime. But the next lifetime. <laughs> Are you winning, son? I mean, my cashier and my stock taker was level 37. Both of them was 37. It takes very long to get a level, like, once you're that deep in. I mean, at the moment, they're earning like a level per day, but later it's impossible. It becomes a level every three days or so. Queue is becoming a bit longer, but it's okay. Shush, girl. Trust me. Eventually you will love the fact that he was the only cashier in the world. I mean, we got our second cashier level 9 now, so... We'll be okay. Like once, I honestly do think we'll need four workers in total. But if we can get these two to like absurd levels, like I, I think we'll just destroy the game somewhat, if that makes sense. And also, like, none of this will make sense if the new update comes and our cashier and the other guy, <laughs> the level one or just base from the actual game. It's going to be terrible, dude. Terrible. They're going to be slow workers and ugh, really not looking forward to that that's what i'm saying like i just want to speed run with this game right now until the end so that i will only play like every update or something that's if we get views i don't know at the moment i'm playing this without even getting views so 
Not smart of me, to be honest. We should only play stuff that people are interested to watch. But I'm interested to play this, man. Like, I want to see this god tier stuff. The level 40. Ugh. That will be juicy. He's gonna have force, you know? Like... What's his name? Magnus? Odin? I don't know. Depending if you're talking about X-Men or... Avengers. You will have the force of, like, taking everything in one shot scanned. We also just reached level 25. I don't even know what to get at 25. More product licenses than I'm sure of. Honestly, can't believe I'm restarting the game, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. You never learn. I should honestly stop restarting games, dude. That's a bad habit of mine. I always feel like, dude, I can do so much better if I just... With, with this knowledge I got. And then... You do so much better that, like... But you could have done just as fine by not restarting. You would have been okay. There's so many games I've done it in, actually. It's 9pm, I think we have another client in here. Yep. These guys complained about the queue once, which was like a around lunchtime, I think. But I don't give a fuck. Uh, $1,600. Nope. We can't buy another product license. Uh, speaking of, let's just have a look here. Uh -huh. No wrong place. Management license. Cheese, cheese, honey, tuna, eggs, four pack, and sugar. So, eggs, tuna, and both cheese. Is in a fridge. 750 for the product license. So we need to get two fridges and one shelf. With, with that license. Yeah, two fridges and a shelf. I mean, we could fit it, fit it in here, I think. I mean, if you spit on it, you'll fit, fit, fit it in anywhere, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty tired, if you can't tell. <laughs> Let's play Master. This guy just needed milk. Bought double milk. Why not just a six pack, bro? Goodness. I 
I mean, honestly, money should be flowing this way, but it, it doesn't feel like it. Maybe it's because I played too much uh, T TCG card shop simulator. Where I'm averaging like $8,000 profit a day. Profit, not sales, profit. Goodness, that's a lot of toilet paper. Shitting for the A team, are you? Aren't ya? Is there any shelf that looks particularly empty? Not really, other than... Some, uh, cereal. 58, yeah, we for sure have. Which means it's gonna be there soon. Sitting on $2,000 again, not bad. Are you winning, son? Just seems like he's running it around a lot. Who knows? Are you even racking my bri? Seems like you're just taking out the trash the whole time. AKA the boxes. The boxes. Is this this? Yeah, the tram stamp lady. Recognize their boobs quite a bit. Almost level twenty seven, dude. 260 more to go. Hey girl. Give this to uh, this teller of mine some experience. That booty can give a lot of experience, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Finish the day? I can't do that. This is where we farm experience. This is how we do it.
Yeah, there's no way it's gonna reach level 27 today. That's a, that's a bit far-fetched. Unless someone is buying the shop. <laughs> We still have three clients. Four. That's funny. There was no queue and all of a sudden all four is queuing. Boom. Two more to go. Then the day is done and dusted. So close, but no cigar. Under more products to go. Can we level up my dude? Oh, it looks like it. It, it. it looked like it. Let's have a look. <laughs> Let's have a look here. 12 kilometers per hour movement speed. 12.5, so a half a kilometer per, per hour more. Let's open up shop, baby. You know, I'm just trying to sleep, but like the dogs, I don't know, they, they sleep during the day and then they keep you up at night. They want to go out the whole time. They don't, they don't instantly come back. They, they want to spend like at least a half an hour outside. Keeping you up. It is a very annoying dude. Not just annoying, but like... It's gonna screw up my sleeping schedule as well. And that's why I'm just tired the whole time. But yeah, whatever. Like, I don't know what I can do about it. It's still like two more weeks before my parents come back. From their holiday. Tomorrow in real time is my brother's birthday as well. That's why they're there. He should uh, become a police officer officially. Finishing all his exams and tests and all those things. And his birthday. All righty then. 60 more XP. Level 27. That will be juicy. You see, this is why sometimes the queue just, like, piles up. Someone comes stand here, and then there's no one in front, but the person, like, the furthest point away is like, okay, I'm first in queue. And by the time she gets there, like, there's already three people behind. Like, this queue didn't happen until that happened. So I feel like the queue system code should also change. It shouldn't be who queues up first. It should be who's closest, like as well. Closest and then queue, I feel like. Distance between the person queuing and where the tiller or counter is. We still have no box outside, so that's good. Leveled up.
He's just flying through it now, dude. It feels like we're making bank now. I mean, we bought a product license. Their grid is too expensive. How, bro? Like, I would have made it that price as well. Here is still going. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change that code for the pricing. Um, uh, this one right here. Auto shopping cart. No checkout counter. No. Auto price updater. Round it up to the closest 25 cent. I think what we're going to do is run it up to the closest zero, we'll say five cent. So I don't know. Let me just click on that. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't work. I need to restart the game. So I think that will get rid of people complaining about salt, um, yogurt, and also water. All these cheap, cheap things, right? For them to be overpriced. We'll just round it up to the closest five cent. We don't work with money anymore, right? So, as long as we're close to market price, they shouldn't complain. Dude, I honestly wonder if your whole shop can get run by only having one restocker. Like, he's an absolute god right now. He picked up a box in the corner. Oh, maybe it's because when I logged out. We should be able to get another two racks in here. Even a possible, like, a fridge pointing this way. It's either that or we'll upgrade the area first. But at this very moment, we're making a killing. Like, uh, it feels like the, the money flows in pretty fast now.
Product expensive. Yeah, I'm going to try and fix that, though. No boxes laying outside. Once you rack these up, I'm going to quickly just pause during that time and save and then we'll just uh, restart the game quickly. Dude, that's so many boxes, dude. Okay, save. Okay, let's see now. Closest 5 cent. 45. 30. There we go. Uh, we should do one more day. Well, I think we might need to expand. It's like unsure if this is big enough. So we will expand first. So I have a whole other square back there, which we'll fix afterwards then. Now how much would it be for the next product license? 750. Well, it depends on which one to go for. That's a uh, cheese cheese. Both of them was is in the freezer or fridge, sorry. Then we have honey. Honey is on a shelf. Uh, tuna is also in a fridge. Four eggs is also in a fridge. And then sugar is outside. So it's it's two double rack fridges, and then one double rack rack. <laughs> I we could buy it already. Have it positioned. Yeah, this is more than enough to work, I think. Hmm. Okay, so market furniture we're gonna buy. It's one shelf and it's two two double rack fridges. I think once we need like deep freezes, we can maybe put it like here. I think it will be big enough.
do, 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 do. Thousand three hundred dollars. I don't. I don't think that's enough, dude. I mean, it's just buying the products left. We might also need to buy a rack. Potentially. Reach level 26. I mean, now it's just buying the product and have enough racks outside. Or in storage. Dude. It begins. Boxes through the roof, dude. <laughs> Purple bleach, goodness. So the maximum markup we have now is five cents. And I don't think anyone should complain anymore about prices being too expensive. Is becoming long, bro. Yeah, it's because people are buying the whole shop. Like, what's happening here? We might need to buy another rack though, but uh, I don't know, if we don't make it, I'll take it alone. Nah, let's just, dude, let's just go another day, honestly. There's no need to rush, right? Because uh, speed kills, it really does. Just one more day. $1,400, it's 750 for the product license. It gives us 750 to buy all items. And as well as buy another stock. No, we're not going to do that. We'll give it a minute.
We should be good, bro. If we just wait one day. A hundred and twenty XP away from another level. Then it's going to be level 28. Now that's going to be juicy for sure. Sixty more products to go, bro. You got this. Or scans. Fifty, let's go. Uh we should go check here. Cash here. So right now, a pa uh, payment time is 2.8 and scans per minute is 104, 123. Is about to reach next level. So 104, 123 went up 106, 125. So he's going up two scans per minute in speed. And payment, I think payment time went down by 0 0.02. So it's still like terrible. I don't know if the, at the highest level it will be instant payment, I don't know. Checkout is full. It wasn't. People just came out of nowhere. Feels like they're pushing in, but okay. She came to the store to buy one cup of yogurt. Maybe that's her lunch, but still, like, it's like, are you kidding me? Yeah, this is becoming a big problem, I think. We'll need to bring back that second cashier. I honestly don't want to. I 
I feel like he's still doing a good job. That's probably better than I can do. This guy will get max experience. Like, I don't know if it's going to be worth. There's a moth flying around in my room, dude. So fun. And you know what it means, right? Moth in your room means mosquitoes is lingering. That's, that's what it means, at least for me. It's been 9 p.m. for so long now. Okay, I think now we're ready to buy the new product license. The question just remains, should we just keep one cashier? I, I think, personally, I think it's still better to get this one dude leveled up, but I don't think... Oof. I'm kind of like on the fence with this one. Okay, well this sucks. How did this happen? First of all, let's just check if it fits. It does. Okay, buy the next product license. I should just buy one at a time for safetyness.
Okay, so right off the bat, I think that sugar is glitched. Okay. Uh, tuna time. Yeah, I think it will be a full rack of tuna. like that okay so now we need a tall rack so one more tall rack and the next product will be honey Okay, so that's honey. Then we'll buy both cheesies. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's take out a 750 loan again. We can just open now. I think that's all. Cheese, cheese, honey, tuna, four egg sugar. Yeah, that should be good. You know, I should just take it alone and pay it off in one day. Instead of saying 28 days and pay it back. Uh, instantly, the next day. I think it'll get charged one day worth of interest instead of like a month. Unless I just don't pay back early. Because the number is actually pretty small when it comes to the numbers we're getting per day now. This counter is pointing the wrong way.
Okay, hopefully also now the queues are solved. I don't think we have to upgrade the other guy just yet, though. We'll, we'll keep him as is. Nah, dude. I think... Yeah, I think if you're gonna have to... Rather get them... On the highest level possible. Let them farm that XP, both of them. Like, I think we plus minus know now that one will not be enough. And I don't think it's a level issue. Auto lights, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Honestly, do think that this game, this game would be better streaming as well. Than making videos like this. I mean, there's nothing in life that I hate more than editing videos. It's not the editing part, it's the rendering part that I hate. Where your PC is occupied for like, depending on how long the video is. It can take up to two hours that you can't do anything in your PC. You can't even watch a series because like it lags. Should we just pay back the loan? Yeah.
Every day I'm shuffling. For some reason that ca that song just came to my head when I'm seeing my workers. But in real life for me it's every day I'm struggling. You know, that's that's how the song goes for me in real life. It's just, it feels like it doesn't matter what I do, like, we just don't get views, dude. It's, it's very discouraging. Why did she, she complain about something, right? No? Slice the bread. So, sliced bread was glitched. It bought it now. Because someone said they couldn't find it. Now the question is, if it's gonna pick up, will it, will it take all four? And get it glitched again. Uh, we can see from this tab. Slice bird is 12. 48. We can't really see it from this tab. I think it bought again. I think why it worked is because the... Shelves is a little bit further away from each other. So it should be forty eight. It didn't update. There we go. I think the way to fix that is to get one rack less of bread, but I don't know why it was glitched in the first place. Thank you, Biden, for your purchase. I appreciate it. In the comment section, guys, who do you think? Well, I mean, by the time this video might be live, it's most probably decided already. But who do you think will win the American presidency? Hmm. I mean, in all honesty, I'm hoping that Donald Trump wins. That's, uh, that's just my opinion. Um, there's multiple reasons. Uh, number one is he's going to make Bitcoin 
um, pay back the debt that America has, which is trillions and trillions of dollars. Uh, they're going to buy, I think it's 5% in total, 10% of total of Bitcoin. And they're going to hold that. And uh, hopefully that will be paying back. Um, the US debt that they have. And that, that factor alone is why I'm like super bullish in crypto. Because if that's the case, if the I wouldn't say America is the richest anymore. I think China is way too close in order to say that they're the richest. But if the richest country in the world is doing it, I think a lot of countries will follow as well. Because you know what they say, right? Stuff come out in America first. And then it spreads to the rest of the world. But yeah, that, the border, I feel like the border is a huge problem. The wars going on in the world, that is also a huge problem. And if Biden would have done something by now, he would have. So I don't think Harris will do anything. I honestly don't think she will do anything. Because they keep just printing money and sending it to these countries instead of like trying to stop they just refill it, you know? I honestly do think, like, yeah, if you are in partnership with America, sure, right? But the amounts of money they send, it's 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 going to be non-stop war. The mo majority of the time, like Ukraine versus Russia, they support the poorest country. Because, like, if no one helped Ukraine, the war would have ended a long time ago. They wouldn't have the funds in order to fight back. Because something like a tank alone is like... It's probably like $5 million, if not more. Yeah, so like... The war would end so much faster if they didn't refill it with money, right? And it doesn't take a brain cell to know this. Like, it's common sense. So... Just with those factors that I mentioned alone, I, I really want Trump to win. The world is in a very dark place right now. And here I am wishing to get views on my videos, but like somewhere else there's like... Like in America right now there's floods, there's tornadoes where people died. And I'm sitting here hoping for views, dude. Privileged? I'm not too sure. I live in South Africa, dude. Not privileged. I'm too white for that. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, dude. Our country is fucked as well. An internal war like, you know, what's happening in Israel. Israel and Gaza, I think, will eventually happen here. Like, it's... It's blatant racism what's happening here. It's just reversal now. From what was happening since Nelson Mandela. Sure, we don't have apartheid, but it's it's still the same thing. It's now just flipped around. Why can't life just be whoever whoever is the best at the job should be getting it? Not because your skin color or your beliefs or your, I don't know, sexuality. Why, why is that a bigger factor than who does the job the best? A 
But yeah, I watch a lot of uh, Charlie Kirk in America. Even though I don't even live close to America. Um, I feel like he is just straightforward to the point. Making good points as well. Talking about certain topics like abortion and stuff. It's, uh, it's very eye-opening when you think about it from their perspective. We have one more customer. Like, we all just see, like, sunshine and rainbows, and it looks fine, and... But when every time you go on the news, it's like strikes happening and you know talking about the strike like there's going to be most probably the first one in south africa that all white people is going to attend it they're trying to take away uh our language which is afrikaans they're trying to take that away from schools because they say afrikaans schools is just way better than english schools and they want to fix that by just removing afrikaans schools if there's no more afrikaans schools than his first language it's like, are you serious? Like, the first amendment or first human right we have is 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 speech, right? Freedom of speech. So, like, if I want to learn my language at school, who are you as a government to tell me I'm not allowed to? Like, what the fuck? Right? We don't care if your schools are shit. Get better teachers, bro. Have a system in place where you fire the bad ones and reward the good ones. And I promise you, within a year or two, you're going to have a decent school. Or three, or seven. But stop hiring people that is not fit for the job. And then blame, oh, it's African schools that's better. Yeah, it's because we have a system. So yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of shit happening now in South Africa, so... If you want to do some research, obviously, uh, you can do that. Uh, the one thing I also can mention is that... Dude, we just keep buying. Where are you? Is it already inside? There he is. <laughs> um, like, looting happened way before America looting happened in South Africa. Like, we almost had looting on day one of the pandemic, of COVID outbreak. So yeah, it's it's pretty bad here, man. It's, it's really... I mean, we have the highest unemployment. We have the highest crime rate. So you guys think, oh, South America, you know, it's bad place, you know, like Mexico. Like, there's so many drug lords and... No. South Africa beats you guys, <laughs> like it beats Mexico even, in gang wars, it beats it in uh, unemployment, uh, overpopulized prisons, we, like, dude, we just have everything here that, that is negative, we, we beat you. I mean, we started the term called load shedding, where we just turn off people's power because we can't pr provide enough power. Um, now, I read in the news, well, I... I I heard on the news that water shedding is coming to South Africa, meaning they're going to just switch off your water for hours a day. Who knows when it's going to come back on. So, like, the shit is just not stopping. It's just piling up and getting worse. Since Nelson Mandela, our country just stood still. It didn't move forward. It just stood still. No new companies, like, no, you know, big... Operation starting, nothing. It's just all bankruptcy. Even our airways, which was the most profitable thing in South Africa, South African airways, is is filing for bankruptcy, bro. The government has to print money to save them, like like on a continuous a continuous basis. And apparently, someone sold the airport for one rand, which is like. The equivalency of like 10 cents in dollar value. Someone sold the airport. Like what the fuck? It's government property. You can't sell it, bro. I don't know. It's just... 
this this country is most probably in need for a reset it's not going to get fixed by itself that's why i'm saying like you know what's happening in gaza and israel it's gonna it's gonna happen here in south africa as well it's just it's just a matter of time and that's why i'm working this hard because like i i want something to take off so that i can get the fuck out of this country it's it's gonna be bad bro it's gonna it's gonna be really bad but yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video if you did please make sure to leave a like subscribe if you are new catch you in the next one peace